Sexual harassment is defined as bullying or cohesion of a sexual nature or the unwelcome or inappropriate promise of rewards in exchange for sexual favors. Sexual harassment is illegal and should not be tolerated in any workplace. It is estimated that 50% of women and 20% of men have experienced sexual harassment at workplaces. Sexual harassment can inflict serious damage on an organization's productivity and morals. An individual named in a sexual harassment complaint could lose their job, their reputation and career and even go to jail. There are two types of sexual harassment, quid pro quo and hostile environment. Quid pro quo harassment occurs when a manager or supervisor withholds or awards job benefits on the basis of sexual favors. This includes work assignments, hiring, termination, promotions or demotions, positive or negative performance reviews or any other job related benefit. A hostile environment occurs when the conduct unreasonably interferes with an individual's work performance or creates an intimidating, hostile or offensive working environment. The courts have adopted the reasonable person standard when addressing sexual harassment. In other words, would a reasonable person behave in such an offensive behavior? The fact that most sexual behaviors when they are continuous and unwanted meet this standard, the safe way to avoid sexual harassment is to avoid it completely. Hostile environment sexual harassment can occur between employees of the same sex, between employees of different sexes, and between employees of the same rank in the organization. Harassing jokes, comments, or other behavior can create a hostile environment even if they are not directly targeted at the individual making the harassing complaint. Sexual harassment is not limited to just co-workers. Harassment can also occur to individuals not directly employed by an organization. Sexual harassment can also occur with individuals such as contractors, consultants, delivery persons, vendors, and even customers. Sexual harassment can occur anywhere that an employee represents their organization. This includes work parties, dinner with clients, conferences, trade shows, sales calls, and charity events. Unacceptable behavior that could lead to sexual harassment includes unwanted flirtings, repeated requests for dates, suggestive whistling, leering, and cat calls. Long stares and sexually suggestive looks may transcend into sexual harassment. Using crude or offensive language or making jokes or comments about a person's physical attributes or inappropriate remarks or jokes about a woman's pregnancy will result into sexual harassment. Sexual harassment includes behavior such as shoulder massages, hugging, back scratching, using demeaning language or offensive names such as honey, sweetie, babe, baby girl, boy, hunk, dearest, sweetheart. Gossiping or spreading rumors about sexual topics or engaging in sexual conversations that are overheard or viewing or posting of sexual pictures, magazines, posters or images. The use of internet and social networking sites for sexually based messages or pictures will amount to sexual harassment. Offensive gender based comments or behaviors that degrade people simply because of their gender such as a woman's place is a kitchen and not the boardroom is sexual harassment. The consequences of sexual harassment, according to Article 23.2 of the Zambian Constitution, all forms of discrimination are prohibited. The Constitution provides that no person should be treated in a discriminatory manner by any person by virtue of law or performance. The Penal Code Amendment Act No. 51 of 2005 addresses the issue of sexual harassment. According to Section 137A, any person who practices sexual harassment in a working place or elsewhere is liable to not less than 3 years and a maximum of 15 years imprisonment. What can you do to prevent sexual harassment? It is simple. Leave all sexually based behaviors at the door. Treat everyone with respect. Speak up when you see harassment. Studies show that simply asking the harasser to stop will end the sexual harassment 90% of the time. However, if the 
are not comfortable confronting the harasser or if the harassing behavior continues, you should contact a manager or the human resource management. Every employee deserves a safe, comfortable environment at work, a workplace free of harassment and fear and full of respect. It is up to everyone to do their part in preventing sexual harassment. I think this is uh, bullying in some way, uh, sexual bullying. I would say sexual bullying. Mm, sexual harassment? Uh, it depends. It could be like a man wanting to propose to a lady or maybe expressing his sexual feelings towards her and she's not ready and he's trying to like force himself something like that or maybe in workplaces where maybe a woman is told you only get a job if you agree to sleep with me. Okay. Yeah. I think sexual harassment is a very bad thing because it brings people to be very uncomfortable and it makes people do things that are not in their jurisdiction. I, I, I mean Somebody can act in a way that the person that is not befitting him or her. So it's a very bad thing. It's a degrading, degrading. Yes, I had an encounter with a teacher in a secondary school. Yeah, when this man wanted me to speak to him because I was poor in maths and he would give me good results for that. Yeah, I've experienced it, I think, one or two occasions. And there was a time when I was t teaching somebody, a lady, some mathematics, and the lady was sitting in a very uncomfortable way, touching me. So I felt very uncomfortable. And I think that was a form of sexual harassment that I experienced. Uh, uh, it's not, think, nothing. I don't think it's a bad, it's a bad thing because you're just looking at someone. Okay, mostly it's about looking. But when it comes to touching and forcing yourself on someone, yeah, that that is a big crime. It's supposed to those ones are supposed to be jailed. I think legal action should be taken against the perpetrator. Uh, furthermore, I think there should be a clause in the constitution stipulating exactly what should be done to the perpetrator. Personally, I feel. Imprisonment might do. No, I think it's an equal thing where men also experience it, but then because they are men, they think it's normal and okay. But we are women, so we feel it's a bit yeah, uncomfortable. That's why most people perceive it as being, as women being more harassed men. I think so, in the sense that women naturally are always at the receiving end of injustice, unjust practices. So I think women are victims most of the time. Yes, yes they do. It's a, maybe 80 women, 80 percent men, maybe just 20 percent of them. It is a sad reality that the majority of the Zambian populace are uninformed about the law with regard to sexual harassment. Sensitization programs need to be undertaken by government and stakeholders.